Hi everyone, welcome to Prince Academy. How are you all? I hope you are all doing very well for your upcoming exams, right? In this video, we are going to discuss about Greenpeace movement from the subject of Sociology of Development, MS4003, MSO program, IGNO. And this video is very useful for first year students and also for UPSA aspirants though you, you may have question on Greenpeace movement right it is actually a general topic so let's start our discussion without wasting our time right Greenpeace 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 is one such independent international environmental organization in Canada motivated by a vision of a green and peaceful world was established in 1971 it is an independent international environmental organization in Canada motivated by a vision of green and peaceful world they act against environmental problems they act on environment problems right they act against industrial policies and government steps which affects the environment right which degrades the environment so they work for the green and peaceful world which only made by environment right next it uses creative confrontation to expose global environmental problems and force solutions for a green and peaceful future that follows sustainable development they works for sustainable development which allows green and peaceful future right it uses creative confrontation to expose global environmental problems. They expose global environmental problems and they suggest preventive measures, suggest to suggestions for a green and peaceful future that follows sustainable development. Right? Greenpeace movement works to change government and industrial policies. They works to change government steps and industrial policies that what government maintain that to threaten the natural world, that threaten the environment, right? This movement calls attention to actions which affects environment negatively. Namely, offshore oil drilling, nuclear bomb testing, dumping of radioactive waste, pollution, etc. They, they took actions on many environmental actions, which uh, those actions which affect the environment, right? Next, let's see the objectives. They choose non-violent methods of protest to protect environment to stop those environment degradation activities they try to stop actions without using forces they won't accept funds from government because they need political independence Understand? next protection of oceans and ancient forests greenpeace is actually a campaigning organization and organizes public campaigns for these follows, following causes let's see one by one protection of oceans and ancient forests and phasing out of fossil fuels and they promote uh, of renewable energy to stop climate change they promote renewable energy and uh, elimination of toxic chemicals prevention of genetically modified organisms and uh, nuclear contamination right they allow safe and sustainable trade right next greenpeace movement global avenues of action the priority issue of uh, greenpeace is climate change remember one thing greenpeace movement is mainly talks about environmental problems they focus on climate change they focus on activities which affect the climate which affect the environment right which affect our ecology system so the, their priority issue for uh, greenpeace is climate changes let us now look into some of the greenpeace actions against some national initiatives which otherwise could have caused adverse environmental changes right the first one is stop human caused climate change. Greenpeace activists are very prompt in protesting against the energy and power plants that may cause environmental deterioration and climate changes. So in this aspect, they cover man-made disasters and burning of coal, gas displacement, power projects, etc. They stop human caused climate changes. Right? Next save sea from destruction 
Our oceans cover two thirds of the planet. We all know and host eighty percent of all life, from the microscopic plankton to the largest of the greatest whales, great whales, right? And in this in this thing, they cover fishing stocks, dead zones, whaling, fish farming, mangrove clearance. Next. protect ancient forest the world's ancient forests are truly diverse they include boreal forest temperate forest tropical forest coniferous forest and broadleaf forest etc right so in this uh, in this aspect they protect those forests from deforestation and they protect rare plants and animal species right and they protect for ancient forests from forest fires and also they provide some suggestions to protect ancient forests let's see adoption of legislation adoption of legislation means to avoid illegal marketing of timber and its products to avoid illegal marketing of timber and its products developing strong voluntary partnership agreements between governments and voluntary organizations for better forest governance and responsible forest management practices next implementing legislation on bribery and money laundering next funding for forest conservation and sustainable forest management and the fourth one is campaigning against genetic engineering while scientific progress in molecular biology has a great potential to increase our understanding of nature and provide new medical tools generally genetical engineering enables scientists to create plants animals and microorganisms by manipulating their genes like the, by manipulating their genes they create plants and animals and microorganisms artificially that we call as genetic engineering so the products are genetically modified organisms green peace activists are against these genetically modified organisms because they are artificial they affect natural ecosystem so they took actions against genetically modified organisms next to eliminate toxic chemicals toxic chemicals in our, uh, in our environment threaten our rivers lakes our air land and oceans and ultimately ourselves understand in this toxic in this aspect to eliminate the toxic chemicals they cover man made hazardous chemicals and electronic scrap medi waste and chemical waste right and nuclear threat radiation and nu- and nuclear threat the nuclear age began in july 1945 when the us tested their first nuclear bomb right however the use of nuclear power has never been peaceful we all know that understand uh, and the, the effects of this nuclear threat is radiation released into the environment has led to the contamination of soil air rivers and oceans and causing cancer and other diseases in people right and greenpeace is campaigning to end nuclear power reprocessing and waste dumping nuclear waste dumping and nuclear bomb testing they act against these activities next promoting sustainable trade greenpeace opposes the current form of globalization that is increasing corporate power they uh, allows corporate power they favors corporate power right in the process of globalization according to them the world trade organization the world trade organization promotes free trade understand for the gain of private interest so instead of protecting environment they work for the free trade for private interest so greenpeace opposes this next abolishing nuclear weapons which causes cancer and birth difficulties etc so the priority issue for greenpeace is climate change they believe the disruption in the ecosystem will likely harm everything from the plankton to whales and polar bears etc so we have seen the circumstances that led to the emergence of greenpeace movement as well as their main avenues of action hope you understand thank you